What's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy Tell. We are checking in with another episode of Televisions, man. Today, we're gonna be going outside with the RB67, shooting some ordinary stuff. So you can't start off a film video without loading film, right? So we're gonna be loading in some Porsche 800 into the Momia RB67. So recently I invested into the Prism Finder because I was having some trouble with the waist level. Um, I had screwed up some film uh, stocks a few weeks ago. So it kind of been helping me up my game for real, for real. And um, it was pretty smooth. It was a nice day outside. I was like, okay, so we're gonna more so take some candid photos around East Atlanta and see what we gonna get. So I stayed near Flat Shows and all Boulder Chris. So what I did was take a little trip and we went from Flat Shows and walked all the way straight down uh, towards uh, Boulder Crest. I really enjoy how these photos came out. Um, it was just real Atlanta-ish and stuff that if you was in the area, you could really uh, understand and kind of see what's going on. So this first shot is something that I really, really enjoyed and something that was pretty uh, reoccurring that I see. So right here, this is actually like a staple over here in Decatur, man. So I live off flat shows over here and right off the exit, right? Be some homeless people over here, better be kicking it. I was asking for bread and stuff. So I want to capture that, see what we're going to get. Let's do it. On three, one, two, ah! Fucking cars, bro. Oh, I just wanted to capture this uh, because that's something that I always see and keep in mind. Whenever I'm getting off on the exit or around my crib, I'm like, okay, I know for sure somebody gonna be there or this whole setup is still gonna be there. The chair and the sign and all that stuff. So I wanted to get that. Next, I'm gonna take some chances and really um, step out my comfort zone and hop in the middle of the road. I saw um, on this wall walking down the street it said love thy neighbor on the wall and i was like yo that's fire so i'm all about community so i was like definitely want to capture that so i got right in the middle of the road um i think i just had to adjust my um shutter speed because i was really keeping my shutter speed very very high just to compensate for the high ice so but on this one i believe it was around 400 and my f-stop was probably like around 13. So right here, I immediately saw something. I was like, okay, I'm big on geometry when it comes to photography, shapes, lines, anything within that realm. I really like symmetry. Um, and that kind of what helps me with my composition as well. And I've learned that in film. Certain frames that were shot in films, I just really admire just due to the symmetry on certain shapes that was behind them, how they chose their background. And even with people, immediately when I seen those light poles kind of peeking out, looking like a bird, I'm like, okay, I really like these. So after taking that shot, I noticed that was definitely gonna be one of my favorite shots, just cause the symmetry and just how things was gonna line up. I really was gonna enjoy that. Every time we on flash shows going towards Gresham Road, it's this shell over here. And a lot of people be stopping at it. Uh, the gas be fluctuating up and down. <laughs> And it's always this dude who'll be sitting on the corner too. He'd be dressed up as Batman and stuff and be dancing and jigging. He wasn't there at the time, but it was this other dude doing some hip hop stuff. So I had to capture that. So it was right up from the shell. So um, I was able to get the whole intersection which was pretty dope and cars maneuvering, but I was able to get him dancing in the middle, um, right in front of the shell. So that was a fun shot to get. And you can't leave flat shows without taking a picture of the street sign. So I definitely want to get a picture of that. As we were moving down the street, we crossed another bridge. You know, couples have a lot and they write their initials or something on it, but it was just a regular lock. I was like, okay, so. But I took a picture of it because I thought it was pretty dope. So as we begin to start walking more and more, I noticed something in the ground fluttering. I'm like, yo, what is that? So I saw this butterfly and it was pretty interesting. And I was like, yo, I've never shot any photos of butterflies. This is my only chance, especially with it being injured. So I also got this picture of this crib that was pretty nice. Like I said, I'm really big on symmetry. I like the lines of the windows and the doors and you see the drive where you're coming in. I really like things that look well put together, like very aesthetically pleasing. 
So I ended up also running on a Monte Carlo. So I am kind of getting into cars. I'm more into classic vehicles though. I more so gravitate to like old school Chevys, 80s, 90s. My father, he used to have an old school whip. It was like a Grand Prix um, classic. So I seen this Monte Carlo and I was like, oh, I know exactly what that is. I want to take a snap of it. And I noticed like people used to do a lot of, uh, they used to trick out their Monte Carlo, it was crazy. And I wasn't really too much big into ever investing into one just cause it's a two door car. I think it's too small, um, but they're dope cars. So as we continue walking, I ended up running up on this sort of artifact. It was like this painting of Young Nudie's last album. I want to say it's his last album. I'm a Nudie fan, man. I don't know if you guys if you guys don't uh, recognize or understand who Young Nudie is. He's a rapper from East Atlanta. I thought that was a pretty cool shot and something that was a little iconic. If you feel me, because. Um, he's a dope rapper, and um, he kind of like has this funkadelic vibe uh, with rap, so it doesn't feel as harsh and as hard as a lot of these rappers is nowadays, because I don't listen to most of these fools. And then also, he had another artifact on the actual gas station, so I was able to maneuver over toward the left side of the gas station, and I ended up seeing uh, his name, and they actually had a, a little mural of him on the side, so I wanted to capture that as well. So with that being said, y'all, I appreciate y'all for tuning in in today's video, yo. If you haven't yet, do me a favor, man. Drop a like below for me. Let's get this video up. I've never had a like goal. Let's get this up to 50 likes. Why not? Let's do 50 likes. And also, too, if you're a new man, welcome, welcome. Subscribe. Join the family. I got many, many more things coming. I got some exciting. I, not that I think about it. I got some exciting stuff coming, man. So you guys, please, please stay tuned, man. We're going to keep it up. We're going to keep it going. One thing, remember, keep shooting. Let's get to it. Peace.